He walked in and said, sir, here is all the money. Please take it, but do not shoot me. And it was 10 days after 9-11. And four days before, a Pakistan gentleman was shot and killed in half a mile of our gas station. So I didn't want to take any chance. I just stepped back. Raiz Puyan was the victim of a hate crime after 9-11, targeted for his religious identity and appearance. He shot me from four feet away with a double barrel shotgun on the right side of my face and the right side of my head. Puyan was invited to speak at Northwestern University by the Muslim Cultural Student Association two weeks after the shooting of three Muslim American students at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I think, you know, kind of given uh, current events, what's going on in Chapel Hill and, and with ISIS and things, um, a lot of people are wondering, you know, what is the, what's the, how do we deal with that? Like, as Muslims in America, you know, what's, what's, how, how do we move forward with that? How did you get to the point where you started to say, okay, yes, this was a very hateful crime, and, you know, I want to take the route of compassion and empathy. Puyan's story is unique in that he forgave the man who tried to kill him, and then he went on to try and save him from death row. The duty part about my shooter, Mark Strowman, that he was you know, here sitting in a death row waiting to die. And I forgave him after I got my life back, but it is not enough because I forgave him, but he still is going to die. How you could really forgive the perpetrator and really try to get to know him and change his perspective, that was the most inspiring part because you, you never hear stories like that. Uh, that. By executing him, we will simply lose a human life without dealing with the root cause, in this case, which was hate and ignorance. I realize that I'm almost reluctant to tell people I'm Muslim a lot of the times because I know there's a stigma associated with it. Although Stroman was eventually executed, Buyan continues to travel across the United States and spread his message of a world without hate. <laughs> An example like this, especially Muslims are very sensitive about this and the approach moving forward, hearing one particular approach and the justification for that I think was really beneficial for our community. Reporting from Medill 2012, I'm Amal Ahmed.